Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now wins. Man open. That's Jamai Chase complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Here's Sanders. Takes it to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Wentz. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And whistle blown, a timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. All right, this is not. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A big play there. 45 yards, and the Golden Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, 
get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, Paul. Go check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On second and 11 now. Herbert. They're going deep for Hill. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. In trouble, and he's taken down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? About 15 cents. They snap it to Herbert. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. And he will be taken down, but it's a big play and a conversion for Washington on fourth down. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here, first down. Now a turn and a give to Mixon. They find some open field here. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, here's Mixon. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert to mix it on the check down. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On 
fourth down. Herbert. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. But we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go band of brothers' thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Wentz now to throw. Caught on the slant. Touchdown! Donald Parham from six yards away. And the Golden Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Herbert. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. The final shot before the break for Herbert. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. 
Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So a big chunk of yardage will be marked off there for that P.I. call. And now you know why receivers and the guys throwing the ball, they like to collaborate and just heave it up sometimes because you can get these types of calls that go against the defense. Pass interference, and they gain over 30 yards of real estate on that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Just what they need, a left chip from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They'll go again with Sanders. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot, he had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, let's be honest about the whole thing. When you're looking for a reliable set of hands on third down, the first thought is often not fullback. But that's who they turn to there. And he does a nice job of securing the football and picking up the first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. 